Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, man, the quality was just so great the last videos of Skyward Sword, and hopefully this one's okay. I mean, I always say that when I'm actually watching the video, it's never as bad as I think it is. Only a couple times is it actually. Okay, well that is not a good way to start. Uh, okay, you want some too? Okay. Now, uh, the reason I started on file screen, I want to point something out. Look at this. This is something that I don't think we've ever been able to do in a Zelda game. Now, the bird's statue savings are a little bit different, and at times could be a little bit annoying, I guess. It's not really. But look at this. You're starting from the middle of the dungeon, and because of the bird statues, it allows you to do that. So I'm counting that as a new feature. I mean, I know that bird statues isn't exactly a new feature, but the fact that you can start from these specific spots... You know, I think that it should count as one. Like, I'll tell you, of all the games that you can't save whenever you want, this one probably does it the best. And, like, you can even treat it as an advantage. <laughs> Man, like, where else do you get that? Anyway, now, it's been a while since I've done this, and so, kind of bear with me. I mean, like I said, it's not the hardest dungeon. I might as well be doing it blind, though, because I don't remember much except for the last room. So, yeah, now that we have bombs, we can blast that over there. It's kind of hard to figure out what exactly you can do that's new because of the fact that... Ah! Oh, man, I lost a lot of hearts. Sorry. Right. Oh, come on, you're not dead yet? Oh my. This is not a good start. Oh shoot. Remember when I said that they, they learned to breathe fire from Ocarina of Time? That was not a good way to put it because this game came first in the timeline. So they really. Oh shoot, that's bad. Um, do I have a chance to save the wizard tail? Uh, I wouldn't count on it. I have a feeling it's a little too loud as well. Um, I always feel like that. Okay, okay. We did not have a good start. The first recording is always the worst. We, we, have, we just have to get around that, you know. There is a little something secretive over there. I'll do that later. For now, let's go into this room. I don't think we got the dungeon map yet. And I, I do remember this room. This is the one where I was, uh, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to Rasky and telling him about five. <laughs> yeah. So, no hearts, I mean, I don't think that you can, remember, you can't douse in dungeons, so. It's not just Zelda, you can't douse for anything in dungeons. And notice how in this, in this one, there's actually red bow goblins, not the green variety. That's interesting. Um, what do you have to say, Fi? She always says that, it's just, Okay. So these guys, since they, we don't have the ball to kill them this time, so we're going to have to do that. I'm, I'm forgetting the controls. I wonder at what point I should turn the interface uh, off. Shoot, okay, I want to get that. What, what? Oh my god. Yeah, I might as well. I might as well start it over, but I might as well demonstrate that you don't lose your progress when you die, even though it looks like you do. See this? That's awesome. I really do hate games that make you lose your progress when you die. Back then, that was pretty standard. Zelda was really the first... Zelda, in my mind, is pretty much the only series that doesn't do that, right? That doesn't make you lose your progress when you die. With the exception of Majora's Mask, if you get the Brute Time Limit game over. And that actually makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's always been a pet peeve of mine. It's gonna sink. It's gonna sink. I guess it's not gonna sink. Wow, it shows how much I remember about this game. I can't believe I died. I was just burning. 
I didn't take Fi's advice of what to do when you're in the event that you catch on fire. I was too busy noticing the funny way she said it. Yeah, I think that this is off-centered, but oh well. You know, we haven't even gotten that one before, so... I think that when we get a treasure for the first time, I probably should do it, but that was a, uh, ornamental skull. And that's one of them that you need a lot of. And, you know, sometimes you do want to see how many you have, so... I should have just started this video over. Yes, we get the dungeon map, so now we can really see how small this dungeon is. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, now I find hearts. Okay, so yeah, that was, that's actually all that's in this room. It's not required at all. Because... You don't need the dungeon map to do anything. I don't think. I don't think the dungeon map's ever been required. I mean, Twilight Princess, they did have that in the Snow Peak Ruins, how you needed the compass. You didn't need it. I I'm just gonna look around that. You didn't need the compass in Twilight Princess in the Snow Peak Ruins, but, like, if you'd never played before, you didn't know where anything was, then, yeah, you probably would need to get it because of that key that's just, like, super cryptic and hidden. But, yeah. You, you can fall off. It's possible to fall off. You just want to try not to. So. Yeah, Link needs a little bit more practice than, uh, than Mario did. Mm hmm You know, it's been, I've been like, the new feature count, it's been so long since, uh, since I, uh, like, sometimes I can't even figure out what I've counted as a new feature and what I haven't. Did I count the fact that you can switch your items while you're running as a new feature? I don't think I did. Can you guys tell me? Now, if you do want the bomb to, like, go as you throw it, you actually have to put it down and then pick it up. Okay, okay. This is ridiculous. This video is terrible. What in the world? I should just start this over. Because as long as you don't save again, if you turn the game off, then obviously it will still go back to it. Oh, man. Do I need to, like, commit suicide for this? I mean, come on. There we go. And what is it? It's just a treasure chest that probably has a treasure of 20 rupees. If it's 20 rupees, I'm going to be pretty pissed. If it's a treasure, not as much. Okay, it is a treasure. It's a golden skull. And so it's a rarity among the ornamental skulls. But really, I feel like I, just, I get just as many golden skulls. As I do ornamental schools. Like right now, we have one of each. I, I, I've just about lost it with myself. Are you freaking kidding me here? And I would start this over, except for the fact that I don't want to waste battery power for my. You know, I'm not. I'm not getting into that. And I always say that. That should be one of my catchphrases. I'm not getting into that. As if I actually deserve to have catchphrases. It's going to all come pouring out in a second, it is. So be prepared! Anyways, let's, uh... Let's do this. Oh my goodness, how do I only have one bomb? Should probably go restock. My goodness! Can't believe I'm doing this! I'm almost dead again. I mean... I died a couple times in the first temple... Skyview Temple, my first playthrough. No, no. Press B. <sighs> but this is not my first playthrough, this is my second playthrough. Yeah, that's good. It is very handy how you can do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna record for 20 minutes. 
Because, you know, that's, that's the only thing I can do when I make this, don't make this much progress. Just make it a longer video. And no one even cares. No one cares about my, yeah, it's gonna, it is gonna all come pouring out. And you don't need to bomb. All you have to do is roll. I did not have this much trouble my first time playing. My first time playing, I really like this dungeon. Oh. Okay, what, what did I miss? Are those cracks, like, for decoration or something? By the way, drink potions don't stop gameplay. That was actually one of the, like, first hype things about this game. Yeah, all you have to do is freaking this, but... Okay, I, that's the same thing that happened last time. Just because I fell in the lava, it didn't work. That is video game logic at its finest. Yeah. Oh my, if someone's coming upstairs, tell me they're leaving. Now, I'm gonna lose it. And it's gonna all come pouring out. Sure enough, sure enough, that's what freaking happened. That's what freaking happened. At least I didn't talk about anything. But you know, that's what freaking happened, okay? Someone came up, tell me they're weeping. Okay, it, oh. it's, it's, it blows my mind how messed up things can be sometimes. <sighs> okay, okay. The good news is I seem to have... Yeah. Okay, okay. We're good. So we blew up the we blew up the guy. Okay. I did drink the heart potion, didn't I? Yeah. Should I forget what to do now? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. I do not forget what to do. There's a crack wall right there. What the hell? Whoa. We got some fire keys. Oh, no, I'm on fire. You get hurt when you're on fire. Did that heart just restore half my health? I think I took damage from the burning at the same time that I... Yeah, I mean, you can just roll over these guys. You don't need the bombs. In fact, it's probably easier to just roll over them. It's funner, too. Is there any way I can get that? No, that, that doesn't work, so... Yeah, that's too late for that. But we are going to need the beetle very shortly. As you can see. But once again, just one beetle strike does not move it up all the way. You might be able to see that there's one on the other side, so we gotta take a little lengthy flight here. Watch out for these guys. Are they really running away from it? Wow. we can continue. Boom! By the way, how many of these have we killed? Like, that's what I would do if I wasn't recording. I would, I'm obsessed with statistics, which is why I love five. Wow, that was our 50th. Good time to check. Very strong. That's good. I'm sure I didn't get very strong my first time playing. And by the way, I don't think it matters like how quickly you kill them. I think it's just about how many, how much damage you've taken. Some kind of quotient, which I believe I've already said. Okay, okay, okay. Um. 
This temple is just so cool. Like, all the designs, it's, it's amazing. So we gotta make good timing, which we, we kinda did by accident. And now, check this out. Mm -hmm. This is just the kind of thing you either get or you don't get. I forget whether I did on my first try, my first playthrough, I don't believe I did. But yes, we have crossed the river of lava that does not make sense, but when have things in video games ever made sense? I mean, very rarely do they. You, you spin. That's what you do when you're on fire. I don't know why I don't get that. I guess because if you're really on fire, it, it wouldn't put it out like that. You actually, oh, I, that's another thing that I'm, I'm bad at. Whenever I, whenever I uh, take a, whenever I, like, use a potion, I always forget that I have to equip my shield again. Yeah, I'm bad at that. Yeah, we got a wizard tail. That's good, because we missed the last one. So we got four of those now. Hopefully next time we go to Skyloft, we'll be able to make some upgrades. I'll be able to really show you how that works. And we got a red rupee. I'm not so sure there's any actual keys in this dungeon. But, like, there aren't that many rooms. It, like, see how... Now do you get what I mean about how big this room is? Like, at first when I said wide open... When they were, like, talking about wide open dungeons... Like how, uh... Just in the nick of time there. Like how, uh, Mr. Onuma, or whatever his name, however you pronounce it, was, like, talking about the wide open dungeons in Skyward Sword, like, I was actually a little worried about that. I was worried about everything. I mean, whenever they said boo about Skyward Sword, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so worried. Yeah. Whoa, 1707. That's a long video. So, we can go in here now. And push this one in. And now we can go up here, although I do believe that there is a treasure chest to be found over there. Also, I did not miss the amber relic. Oh wait, no, that's a heart. Never mind. Okay, we, we gotta get on this, because I believe it might disappear. Come on, Link. How do you overshoot something like that? Where are we? I don't even know where we are. Okay, okay, we're right here. That's not bad. Yeah, I just kind of want to get the treasure chest that's over there. I'll try to get all the treasure chests. I believe that there's only one that I missed. There's in the sixth dungeon. And yes, it, like I said, it happened to be a bottle. And that was like so traumatizing to me. That I found out that I didn't 100% Skyward Sword. It really does. It gives us Let's Play a whole new level. And now I've got to do it. I mean, I knew I didn't 100... I didn't technically 100% it outside of that. Whoa! That's awesome. We got a blue bird feather. These things can be tough to get, so when we get one randomly, that's good. That's probably the, the third rarest treasure in the game. The thing, though, is that you can kind of get it, like... It's not as rare as the guidebook makes it out to be. Like, the way you get it is that... The way you get bird feathers... Should have used the beetle trick, but I didn't want to miss the rupees. I guess the beetle trick doesn't even help that much. So yeah, the way you get bird feathers is that you, uh, you catch birds in your bug net. However, the way you get, the way you get blue bird feathers, it has to be a blue bird. Like, if it's any other color of bird, for some reason, blue birds are the rarest. Now, I don't actually think blue birds are the rarest. I, like, I think that blue birds appear just as much as any other bird. They're just more special. But yeah, sometimes you won't see a blue bird, so I guess... In the end, it's definitely much easier to get regular bird feathers, which is ironic because the blue bird feathers the one we actually have. So we can finally advance past this main room that we pretty much spent almost the entire video in. So, I hope that this episode did, like, improve. Like, we did, we've made a lot of progress, but we did it in a lot of time. Okay, see ya.